Now to our coverage on the passing of Queen Elizabeth. This afternoon, thousands of people are waiting for hours for a chance to say one final goodbye to Queen Elizabeth. I want to get you a live look now. The long lines stretching through central London, but mourners there say the moment will be well worth the wait. It's a part of history. We're never going to have this again. And she's just been such a rock and an inspiration to everybody across the whole world. And for me to be able to do this for myself and for her, I, there's no words that can explain it. It's just absolutely incredible. Mourners will continue to file through Westminster Hall through early Monday morning. We now have more details about the Queen's funeral. Buckingham Palace says more than 2,000 people are expected to attend the state funeral in Westminster Abbey on Monday. More than 800 people are expected to attend her burial in Windsor. The late monarch will be buried in St. George's Chapel in a private service. The Queen's father, King George VI, her mother, and the ashes of her sister, Princess Margaret, are already buried there. Prince Philip's coffin will be moved from the royal vault so that it can lie alongside Elizabeth's coffin. And you can find much more on the plans for the Queen's funeral on our website. Click to Houston.com. Any updates will be right there on the homepage.